Welcome to FaceTime with Nicole Jacqueline. And today we have my fave, Courtney Lachelle. Hey, y'all. So, you know, I'm like either the president or the vice president at a fan club. For sure. So I'm so excited that you're doing this. Me too. And we and like we're in the studio right now. Tell us about the studio that we're at. First of all, this is home for me, um, but we are at 778 Music Group Studio. Um, this is where all the magic happens, you know what I'm saying, where I created my first project. Um, so, yeah, this is my second home. So I got introduced to you, like actually introduced to you by Chris McCain. Okay, that's my boy. Yeah, it was like maybe like a year ago, and uh, he, was, he was telling me about you. And, you know, he was saying you did music. And I was like, can I hear something? And I remember you rapped on the spot. Uh huh. And nobody does that. Yeah. Like, people be like, nah, nah, nah. So, like, you went in, like, on the spot and you were hard. Oh, I'll be trying. I was like, <laughs> I was like oh, she like, like, like I, would, I don't know. I think I thought she was going to be, like, on some Neo Soul. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I thought. But I was like, she a gangster. I give that little Neo Soul vibe, I guess. But I'll be like, y'all don't know me for real. Like, yeah. let me show y'all. So. <laughs> At all. So, like, I guess your introduction to everybody else was uh, Cry Sometimes. I think came up in a world that's so bad. And mama told me, baby girl, I got your back. And I that my daddy gon' always keep it a stack. That's why I'm never worried when the devil on my back. Right. So, now it came out. That video came out about a year ago. Was it easy being open like you were in that song? No. The weird thing is, like, I know as an artist, they expect you to be, like, super vulnerable. Um, you talk about your relationships and talk about that and this or whatever. Um, but I'm not a very vulnerable person when it comes to, like, writing. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, I haven't really, like, dug super deep into, like, my feelings like that. Um, and so that, that song was a little... I was like, man, is this the one? And it was about my family. I'm super, yeah. like, particular about stuff like that. So I was just like, mm, but it, it, it got some crazy responses. So, yeah. And then, um, like, you followed up with the EP, The Cycle. Yes. So what was it like recording that? And what was it like doing the video for, for um, Something, Something the clock? the clock? Yeah, a super sexy video. So Okay, period. <laughs> Um, recording the cycle was actually amazing. Um, I had Reggie and Ty Goldsmith um, helping me with that, 778 Music Group and Track Channel. And like I said, we were here. Um, they literally made beats, 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 sent them to me. I wrote to them. We got all of that recorded, wrote and recorded in a month. Oh, wow. So they were pushing me. Actually, and let me just say this. Reggie is like a pusher. Like a real pusher. <laughs> like, he's one of the ones that you be like, man, all right, yeah. all right. Yeah, 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 but you need it. Like, everybody yeah. needs a Reggie, like, honestly. And yeah. so um, he was just like, I bet you can't write two songs this week. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, who? So I did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, it was great working with them. And then to follow up with the Something O'Clock music video, um, it was super sexy. It was a, it was a vibe. It was super fun. Um, that was shot by Aaron Art. Okay, see. Um, so, yeah. I enjoyed it. So, like, one thing I can say is that you've mastered being both hard and, like, sweet, sexy. Yeah. All at the same time. Thank you. Is that, like, your natural personality? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> like, obviously, I'm not walking around, like, hard on people all day because it's, like, it's not necessary. I don't feel like it's necessary. Um, and then I am, I am a sweet person. Like, I really just be chilling out of my business. I don't be in no drama. You ain't see me in nothing. Cause I don't even, I don't even move like that. But I am like super sweet. But also I was raised by real gangsters like in real life. So I have both sides. I just be chilling out. <laughs> so like, I know what you're talking about writing. So for the cycle, did you write that all? Or was it you and Reggie or you and Ty? Or I did, yes. You wrote I, all of that? Yes, I am. I take great pride in being a great writer, and I do prefer to write my own stuff. Um, they're great writers too, and obviously, if I needed to, then I would have had the option to, like, you know, what I'm saying, ask them, like, hey, can you guys like write us, help me write this song or whatever? But no, nah, I just, I be writing. <laughs> I be writing for real. Yeah, and I know um, Tay Diggs. Mm -hmm. That's one of your songs. 
is that a subliminal title? Because <laughs> I was like, I feel like this person know who they are. Like, I feel it was giving me that type of vibe. No, so actually, Tay Diggs was, it was written about someone else's relationship. Like, this was something that I did know about um, in depth, but, um, the name was just because I don't know why, and I could be tripping, but every time I see Tay Diggs in a movie or a show, he ain't shit. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm about to name this Tay Diggs, because that man ain't shit. He always doing something. He got best man. You know what I'm saying? Just, in my mind, I'm like, every time I see him, he ain't shit. All American. They, they came, you know, he just ain't shit. That's so that's where the title came from. But my friend know who Ooh, it's yeah. about because it's about her too. So. so you have the ability to listen to somebody else's situation and create a song that's that. that's honestly how the cycle came about um i write about other stuff that i've heard or seen um in my friends relationships and stuff like that 23 is the only song that i wrote that was like genuinely about me okay. um and then the other stuff it was just like i see my friends going through this and that and i just was like mm, this will fit in there this will be great so I am planning on being more vulnerable and writing more about myself because a lot of people did say they could tell that 23 was like for real about me. And I don't know if it was just the way I sang it or what, but. See, and I felt like voicemail. Like that was, that was, <laughs> Damn. That was, that was the one that was like, this this, like she, this about somebody. Yeah. Like that was, that was the one that gave me that. No. Like if I, like if I came to your show, like if you started off with that, like I feel like that everybody be hype. Yeah. Oh man, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I, um, I mean the, that, that song was talking about like calling somebody drunk, mm -hmm. drink. I don't even drink. So it's mm -hmm. like calling somebody, I ain't about to be calling leaving no damn voicemails. I don't even be on that type of tip. Mm -hmm. So no, that definitely wasn't about yeah, no. <laughs> But that, that shows how good of a writer you are that it feels like it's you. Um, do you write for other people? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Man, and I feel like it's something I'm going to have to get over eventually. Mm -hmm. But my mindset on that is like, what if I write this song, this person blow up off of my song? I could have sang this song. But then I think about it too, where it's like you be releasing your version, bro. Like the I'm like, this was the real, <laughs> this was the real version right here. No, but then I think about it like, what if Beyonce wanted one of my songs? Obviously, because of who she is, right. um, it's gonna get out there more, and more people are gonna love it because it's Beyonce. Right. And I'm like, so I I may be keeping stuff to myself, and I shouldn't, but mm -hmm. also I'm like, I ain't even gonna cap to you. Like I'm not writing for nobody in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. I'm not writing for y'all. Don't, don't, don't make it say it again. I'm not doing it. So that's yeah. just that on it. I feel you. So, okay. So you had the cycle. That was real R&B. Thank you. Then the last couple of singles, like with Stevana mm -hmm. and Big Ken, have been just rapping. Yep. Uh, are you like transitioning to that or you just had to like get the raps off? Like, I had to get them off. Yeah, y'all have. And this is the thing too. So obviously if I had to choose, I'm going to always mm -hmm. choose singing because that's what I've been doing longer. That's what I love. Um, but if we're being honest, rapping is so easy for me. I could so literally easy. do it in my sleep. Like it takes me no time to write my little verse or whatever, write the, the whole rap song if, if that's mm -hmm. what it is. Um, because it's just easy to me. I feel like with my music, I have to, with my singing, I have to put in more effort. And so yeah. that's why it's like, oh, she keeps dropping all these singles of her rap. And I'm like, yeah, cause it just took me five minutes to make it. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? I'm just giving y'all something cause you know. So and that's cr like where do you think you got that from? I don't know. Nobody in my family raps. Well, my little brother raps now, but it's because of me. So I don't know. Where, I don't know where I got that from, but I'm grateful. <laughs> Everybody ain't able. Right, and it's. I hope I'm gonna find a clip of you rapping at the Black Fashion Week, the freestyle, oh, Lord. and I, I'm gonna try to put it in here because. <laughs>
remember being at that like, do y'all see this? Yeah. Like, that's crazy that you be like, I don't really rap, but yeah. you be like out rapping everybody. That's that's the goal. Even like, if I'm not, even if that's not what I'm going for, like as a mm-hmm. career, like as a rapper, like a rapper in general, it's not what I'm going for, but mm-hmm. I'm always going to make sure I eat whoever, mm-hmm. like, this is, is what it is. So, I love y'all, but I'm always trying to eat Come everybody. For the head. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, in the, the article that you, well, the interview you did with the Voyage Dallas, you were talking about how, like, you're, like, you've had insecurities with singing mm-hmm. and doubts. Like, explain that a little bit. Um, really, I think it's, like, I, I always, when I was growing up, I thought, like, I had a pretty voice. And I come from a very musically inclined family, so I just kind of felt like, yeah, I got this voice. Um, and then I think as I was growing, I was like, I don't think I know how to really use it. Like, mm-hmm get the best out of my voice um and so people always tell me like oh my gosh you can sing you should be doing this you should be doing this and then for a long time I was just like nah I don't think I'm like good enough to be doing this but then everybody can't be capping right right? the whole Oklahoma (laughs) y'all can't be capping so I was just like maybe maybe I am good at this and I love to do it I do love to do it I just didn't really know like if it was more of a hobby or if it should be just a hobby or if it's like could I really go for this so right yeah. So what have you like learned as an artist from now to like when you first released Cry Sometimes? Shoot, really just writing what you feel, you know, performing what you feel. Um, I'm not going to put myself in a box. And that's what a lot of people want me to do. They want me to just be this singer or now they want to just call me a rapper. No, I'm an artist. I'm going to do all of it. I'm going to sing. I'm going to rap. Ah, dance circles around y'all. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do everything because it's just yeah. like, why not? If you if you can do it, why not do it? So I'm just learning to just like be authentic, be yourself, do what you want to do. Don't let nobody paint a picture of you or put you in a box because um, I was not meant to fit in one. So, so like before you release Cry Sometime, what was the moment that said, I'm going to do this for real? Like what triggered that? Before I released it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I dropped this this freestyle on my page in like 2018 and it was to um the gucci gang gucci gang gucci gang mm. but i changed it up it changed it to some little <laughs> i don't know what i thought i was doing but um i posted it and it went crazy and i'm like oh y'all like this y'all like mm. this okay i could kind of do more of this and i had dropped like some i had posted some videos of me singing here and there and people were just like oh my gosh oh my gosh so um somebody had reached out to me and was like you need to come to my studio it was a studio off of uh lincoln and I forget what it is, I ain't gonna lie. Um, but I went in and I recorded. And then after that, they just kind of like messed with me like, mm-hmm. and was pushing me like, you need to keep dropping stuff, you need to do this, do that. And I'm like, man, y'all really like this. Y'all really like my music. Like, y'all really yeah. like me as an artist. So I was just like, oh, I need to be doing this. It's just been going since. Yeah. One thing I've always been really impressed with is your look. Thank like, you. whether it's the photos or the music videos, I can tell like, you put thought into it. Right. And it's like always like on your, like the the look is committed, like whatever yeah. the look is. Like where do you get the inspiration for, for how you go look in these videos? I just be thinking it's common sense. <laughs> like I'm not lying, but then I'll be looking at, I'll be looking at stuff, I'll be like, why did you do that? So I don't know. I think it's just, I'll be trying, I'm just like, if you're going to put something yeah. out, we paying money for this stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay true. for these videos. You got to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to be coming out here looking crazy. And I'm putting my money into mm-hmm. this. So I just be trying to look the part. Whatever I'm performing, look the part for it. So I like that. Now, Big Ken. Uh-huh. Cause my you cousin. Re- yeah, you reference him a lot. And I know, like, I went to one of your shows and you brought him out. And then, like, when y'all did the video together, I was like, it's Big Ken. Like, I was, like, yeah. excited because, you know, you've been talking about him. Like, you said that's your cousin. Mm-hmm. Like, tell me that, like dynamic because was he in the cry sometime video he was too? Yeah. yeah he was so what's that dynamic with the music and y'all being related man so it's so crazy because like we are cousins cousins like grew up together getting in trouble bad you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. um and neither one of us really did music when we were like growing up like i always sang but i never was like obviously really doing it and then i didn't even know he could rap a lick of nothing Try to sneak this, the shit funny. But I get the last laugh, though I'm really funny. Yeah. Niggas always trying to shame me, but I'm still sunny. Jokes on you, you a clown, you a ear, you a dummy. Listen up, this PSA. Hey. I ain't home back shit, got a lot to say. No. I ain't taking disrespect, I check a nigga like a TSA. Tricks up for kids, little nigga, I don't play.
Um, and then obviously I started doing my music. Um, and he was just like, man, cousin, I think I want to rap. This was recently. This ain't even been a long time ago. I mean, yeah, it ain't even been a long time ago. He's just like, cousin, I think I want to rap. I'm like, you should do it. Of course, I'm like, let me hear what you got though. Because when it comes to my family, I'm going to definitely let you know, like, no, because you're not about to be. <laughs> um, so he let me hear some stuff, and I was just like, yeah, cousin, like, I think you could be dope. I think you should polish this up and that up or whatever. So he li he really listens to me um, and takes my advice, which I think is dope, because it's like, some people be like, who are you? But it's like, nah, like, I have a good ear. <laughs> and so um, we love doing, we both love doing music. So we did, you know, close case. We're crazy. Yeah, it was fun. So, so singing wise, like who did you grow up listening to that like really inspired you? Lauryn Hill. Oh my gosh. Because, I mean, Lauryn Hill is literally on the top rappers list. Yeah, she is. They don't want to say it. Are y'all crazy? Duh. They don't want to say it, but she is. <laughs> she's, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And she's literally, she literally made the list, the actual list that was put out by whoever, I don't know. But she was on there. Yeah. But if you, like, most people think she's just a singer. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, that's why I'm that. super inspired yeah. to just do whatever I want to do. Because it's just like she literally killed it in both lanes. Right, she um, did. So, like, Lauryn Hill, obviously I love Beyonce. Um, Erica Badu, I absolutely love Erica Badu. Jill Scott, I love them. So. so, what about rapping? Who inspires you? Like, outside of Lauryn Hill, like, who lately have you been, like, listening to? Yeah. I love, I mean, I love Nicki, because she's, like, the queen, obviously. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I love Lotto. Yeah. Been loving her. I watched her on a rap game and I yeah. just knew she was kind of going to be a little fire. And then she dropped this little disc called I, the, I remember the that. Disc Response, whatever. And I know every word. Lyric, I'm like, yeah, too. yeah. She no got shade on your to ass. Lyric, but that was. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. If y'all ain't seen that, that to when I, I think a lot of, that's what I that's think That's what of. you think of. Yeah. She went in on her. Yeah, I was did. like, oh my goodness. Um, and then I love Young and May. I love Young yeah. and May. Like, she's so hard. It's a, you know, I don't know. It's a, the women are out here going crazy. And then as far as like um, males, I love Dirk. I'm a mm. big Dirk fan. I said this once and I said it before. I would love for that to be my first feature in my life. Yeah. But, you know. Let's manifest that. Yeah. If you see this dark, I don't know how you will, but if you do, <laughs> come on. I can hear him on cry sometimes. I can hear him on whatever. <laughs> I can start over on whatever you want to do. Let's do it. So um, I know you and Chris supposed to be. Are you on Chris's album? I'm on the album. Yeah. I made the album. <laughs> I made. Who else can say they made the album? It's a couple people on there. I made the album. Mm -hmm. I love Chris McCain. So and you gonna be rapping, right? I got on there as fast. I, I can imagine. Ass. But he had me rap and sing on there. Mm. He told me don't play with them folks. Right. So at all. And I so he the funny thing is he sent me the um the beat. I promise you. <laughs> if it's one thing I know about Chris McCain, <laughs> is he gonna wait till the last minute <laughs> to tell me something. He sent the beat, he sent the beat, he like, can you come to the studio and come lay something down on this? I'm like, huh? <laughs> Cause I think, <laughs> listen, when I say Chris McCain is like up here to me, right. I'm like, I can't just show up with just anything. I'm like, I need some days or something right. like, to really sit here and like, let this marinate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let, man. Yeah. And so, but it was a challenge for me. Mm -hmm. And I literally, I'm heading to the studio right in my verse as I'm driving. Get there. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, don't let him tell me this ain't it. <laughs> I recorded it. He like, oh, that's hard. I'm like, Say less. <laughs> we in here. We made it. So I was super excited about that. I can't wait for y'all to hear it. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, it's going to be dope. So are you working on another EP or are you just releasing singles right now? I am working now on another EP. Obviously, like I said, um, Reggie and Ty, they've been mm -hmm. on it with the beats, sending me beats and stuff like that so I can um, get my life together. <laughs> and get to right into all these, you know what I'm saying? We're really a great team. Yeah. Like, I I really love them and love that they're around me and helping me, stuff yeah. like that. So, um, we just working. Yeah. We just going crazy. The next EP coming. I don't know when yet. But, but it's, but it's coming. Like, it's literally coming. It ain't gonna take, it took me a month to record the cycle. Yeah. So, I'm like, man, once we really get in here and get it started, like, it's not gonna take too long. So. Okay. So do you have any like, is it going to be like a similar vibe to the cycle or is it going to be like something different? 
I really just feel like it's going to be both. <laughs> if that makes <laughs> sense. Like, it might be a little bit like, oh, okay, but I really want to, I don't know, I want to just surprise everybody yeah. with something and be like, man, like, I wasn't really expecting her to come with this. Yeah. So, and I, I don't know, I just feel like the cycle was like one of the most perfect um, was, EPs to release. Was. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I got to be able to follow up. Right. You already <laughs> oh, got yes. like a sophomore jinx. Y'all already got to beat your last album. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little yeah. nervous because I'm not playing. Like, yeah. I really feel like the cycle was like, yeah. that was something. So I'm yeah. like, wow, what are we going to do next? But it's going to be fire. I know it's going to be fire. Well, and I know, like you said, Lauren Hill, like, sing, uh, singing, rapping. She mm -hmm. also, you know, killed in a sister act. So, oh, period. You know, we want to see you acting in some stuff, too. I told you I'll put me in a you movie. You know, full circle. You know. And I think that's all I have. Thank you so much. Of course. Is there anything you just want to tell people that you just like, nah, I can't leave without saying this? I mean, follow me on social media. Um, yeah. I am Courtney Lachelle on Instagram. There's no you and Courtney. Please don't put a you in my name, bro. <laughs> Literally, there's, there's no, no you, you and Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> um, everything else, I mean, Courtney Lachelle on Facebook, Lachelle Courtney on Twitter. They tried to play me and wouldn't let me get my... Somebody got that name, like, who else is Ow. it? Who else? But, they, but yeah, Lachelle Courtney on Twitter, so... Um, also, like I said, I am working on my next project. It's going to be coming soon. I promise we're going to get on it. Um, and also if y'all need some fire beats, some, some, some place to go and record, have a great engineer behind you, right. 778 Music Group is going to be the one for legendary, that. Legendary studio. Legendary. Yeah. Reggie going to hook you up. That's just what it is. And, and Ty, if you need some beats, Ty got you too. Track channel. So. Hit my boys up. You know what I'm saying? You already heard what my stuff sound like. Right. Masterpiece. Obviously, it was amazing. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But, but yeah, that's all. Yeah, and fun fact that's about Untitled. Song. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I know that's right. <laughs> uh, a lot of people love that song, too. But fun fact about that song is I started writing. I wrote that song. I think I had to finish the second verse or whatever. But I wrote. I started writing that song, like the, the hook in the first verse when I was in college. Mm -hmm. Long ass time ago. We ain't gonna talk about the time. <laughs> but it was a long time ago. And I literally had that. I, I literally have the recording in my phone mm -hmm. um, when I started, like, you know, you gotta jot it down so yeah. you don't forget. Yeah. I started recording myself singing it. And it really came out so dope even after all these years. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, you doing yeah. Yeah. And the way Aaron did Seven O'Clock. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was very like, sexy without making you look like you was like trying to be sexy. Yeah. <laughs> like his shots away was like really quick. Yeah. And like, yeah. I really enjoyed working with him on that video. He was so helpful. Oh my gosh. He was just so nice and it what just else, was so smooth. What else did, like sex scenes at opera for you? Like doing that? No. <laughs> 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 no, 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 nothing like that, man. No, I, um, the, I mean, the guy is somebody I've been knowing for a very long no, time. Um, we went to college together. Mm -hmm. um, Marquavius Williams, he's a basketball, well, he was a basketball player in college, and that's how we met. Super cool. I mean, did I ever think I would be, like, straddling him? <laughs> no. But... I'm just like, you got to have somebody that you're comfortable with mm -hmm. when you're doing stuff like this. So I was like, I don't want nobody who like a bro to me, but I also needed somebody who was like, cool, yeah, that was really cool, cool with. So yeah. shout out to Mark Wavis. Yeah. yeah. I like it. You want to sing or rap or Oh yeah. You want to do yeah. that? You want to do us in the impromptu yeah, thing? <laughs> I've been controlling the streets. Yeah, I've been controlling who eats. Bitches is mad because they weak. They thought I was sweet. I make a badger to speak. I triple your rent in a week. Ho, and you know that. If we beefing then ho, you get toe tag. On my wave, I was popping before that. And I love being black like I'm Kodak, ho. Woo, damn, I can switch it up. Guarantee it ain't a bitch who is keeping up. Got a problem with it, ain't problem with us meeting up. And you can bet your last dollar, I'll be deep as fuck. Keep it tucked. Yeah, if you proceed, better have some shooters with you like they in the league. Better yet, you better off getting on both knees. Because only God gets you out some shit you doing with me. I ain't even gonna go no further. Y'all, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
y'all. Thank you for tuning in to FaceTime with Nicole Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Courtney Lachelle, for of being course. my guest. And stay tuned for everything that she has going on because she's a star. It's up. Thank you for having me.